my video for November the 22nd, 2019, is video number 3,282. The title is, So Much Unfolding As It Should. True or false? <laughs> Marty Snitkin, who has 19 books on Goodreads, said, quote, Whether you like or hate Trump, we are exactly where we are supposed to be. I am grateful he is president and he is the spearhead bringing out the ugly. There's so much unfolding as it should. Now you know why you are the slaves, because you can't work together and organize to defeat anybody, let alone the controllers." End quote. Another quote of interest is by or, yeah, it should say is by, but it doesn't have the word is. I better put that in there. Uh, let me put the word is in. Okay, is by 19th century German philosopher and atheist Friedrich Nietzsche. He said, quote, a certain type of person strives to become a master over all and to extend his force, his will to power, and to subdue all that resists it. But he encounters the power of others and comes to an arrangement, a union with those that are like him. Thus they work together to serve the will to power. And the process goes on. End quote. Will the process to hold on to power or the process to reveal long hidden secrets succeed? Time will tell and the beat goes on. It's late in the day for me and I still have a busy evening ahead with a, it's good, about five hours is gonna take out of my day because it, the meeting that I'm hosting is about an hour's drive away each direction and I get there an hour before it starts and the meeting runs about two hours. So that's five hours that's gonna be taken out of my evening so I'm recording this video a little bit in haste before I have to leave for that. And I've been struggling all day with uh, the issue of having one of my videos blocked, uh, which if you go to Facebook, you will see, uh, see how that's been progressing because I've been posting things on Facebook as I've, as I've gone along. Anyway, folks, uh, I looked up this, this Marty Schnitkin and, uh, there's a whole lot of information about him. I'm not even sure what I said in there about the 19 books on Goodreads. I'm not even sure that's the right one because the guy is an enigmatic guy for sure. But I think I have the right one there uh, that made that quote. And he's true. Trump is bringing out all sorts of things. People either love or hate him. There seems to be no middle ground and very little cooperation. I personally, as I've said so many times in other videos, I am not a Trump supporter. He is a paradox man, an enigma to me, and I can't figure out always which side he's on. Some of the people he surrounds himself with are very questionable to me, and some of the things he says I resonate with, and some things that he says I don't resonate with. That's the reality of the situation. So people that might attack me because I'm supporting Trump, no, I'm supporting some of the things that he says and does, but I'm not supporting everything. I don't do that. And Nietzsche, I mean, he has some interesting things to say. Uh, I'm not an atheist. I am an agnostic. I used to be a believer. But I question things now. And he talked about people that want power and how they coalesce that power into a group think situation. And of course, as things are going right now, the corporate world is part of that group think. And they have had a plan to dominate the entire world for a long time. And they see themselves sort of as demigods, maybe not God, they don't believe in God, but they would consider themselves demigods or a word that means the same thing. Uh, the, this is the struggle that we have as humanity. And 
we have to learn to walk to work together somehow don't we i mean i want that i would think that that's true but it doesn't seem to be possible i mean so many people come from so many different angles and they end up butting heads with each other and they don't listen to each other and i try i try in when i lead a discussion group to get people not to point fingers and say you're wrong but to allow people to express their point of view it's just a point of view and we all have points of view based on our personal experience like i keep saying in so many of my videos we have to get to the place where there is cooperation more than competition competition belongs in sports not in life if we could get on the same page in life, we could create paradise. We could get people probably over time to actually work with each other to create things that benefit the majority. Are we ever going to be able to benefit the minority too? The minority opinion, ironically, as I see it anyway, is is the ruling opinion it's the opinion of the masters it's the opinion of the demigods it's the opinion of of those that want to be controlling everyone else the control freaks in other words and i see that but some people apparently can't see that and so when you talk about the problems not everyone agrees and so there's headbutting it doesn't get us anywhere does it i listen to some of the like marianne williamson one of the democratic candidates i i listen to her she says some good things and i agree with them and all of them might say some good things or they would never get an audience at all and i have been friends with Dennis Kucinich, or I didn't actually I never met the man, but uh, he's a Democrat and I loved him. He was he was willing to stand out. And so was uh, uh, Cynthia McKinney, another black congresswoman, another Democratic black congresswoman. Uh, and these people have integrity most people in politics unfortunately have no integrity even if they claim to be religious of some sort or another and that's true in Rep republicans and democrats and if you go to other countries with people in the various parties especially the mainstream parties are usually just two sides of the same coin but they really have singular objectives of control because they want to be the dominant ones. They don't want to share and, and work in conjunction with those who want peace because again, war is a profitable business. And so our leaders wage war and the financiers finance both sides of all the major conflicts. I keep saying that it's, the reality that we have to come to see as human beings if we're going to overcome the horror that has been taking place on this planet i hope and pray that there is a real creator and that he loves us enough to intervene in some way that can make a real difference and ultimately free humanity from the bondage of enslavement and mind control. Thank you folks again for listening and namaste.